Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I actually will try to use my iPhone to make another video and this is uh, I mean somebody has asked me what to if a, a focusing ring in a lens is well you say stuck or really hard to turn and I want to disassemble the lens Hmm. Yeah. And uh, this is just an example. So it could be whatever lens, I mean, especially the older, uh, which has problems with if the focus ring is really, really tight. And I really, yeah, you can see, okay, this one is, of course, those two are examples. It could be different in other lenses but this is just to show the example of uh, how can one let's say I want to in this Nikon lens this it will not happen it's made in a different way but let's say in uh, 105 millimeter 2.5 it has a set screw somewhere up here in the front under the focusing ring so one have to actually loosen the focusing ring and and uh, in that way get the the front ring here further out now to um, in and if the focusing ring is way too hot so you can cannot turn it at all what to do well I was thinking okay taking an old lens another old really cheap lens no matter what, it could be useful anyway. So, um, yeah, I will just use in this example some different tools, not special, a 3 uh, JIS 2.5 and a flathead 2.5 millimeter. Some, some cutting boards and the most important thing, one or two this is uh, isopropyl alcohol 99% which will can be a useful thing or the simple lighter fluid or something similar but the special thing is <clears throat> I put a serine needle which uh, is uh, something like 0 0.8 millimeter or so that can go into the nozzle here and in a more easy way apply the the lighter fluid to uh, more tight places in here or here or another lens it doesn't matter but uh, let's see I mean I want to come into the the actual uh, focusing helicoid or part of it just to add a few drops of <clears throat> lighter fluid or isopropyl alcohol it depends and uh, it depends on how the actual design inside here is made. So, um, yeah, let's jump into the Nikon first. And uh, we need to take off the, since we cannot come into the front of the focusing helicoid, I need to go in from the back. So I need to take off the, the, um, the mount with the five or five or three screws or how many there is on this off now take it off uh, it shouldn't be any special if the screws are way too tight you can use exactly is a popular alcohol on a cotton bud and just add a few of the screws if they were tight <clears throat> it's not a problem here because I have been, been have been into the lens before, so there shouldn't be any problem. It's not a tutorial by, about lenses. It's a tutorial about how to loosen the focusing thread. I mean the focusing helicoids. <laughs> Sorry. And um, it only needs a few drops, so there will be. I'm not a sample of the lens again. It doesn't really matter in this case. Uh, no need for spending time on that <laughs> so now I can take off the mount 
and uh, this is a little tight so I can just do that and it will come hopefully come loose no problem here but if we look closer into the actually focusing thread you probably can see down here um, it can turn and of course here I can see the focusing thread down here somewhere you can see part of it here but if the lens is stuck at let's say about um, infinity or maybe somewhere here um, it's not enough I need to fully have it to near end to get to whatever screws there were on the front here but let's say it's stuck about here so what I would do is take the Sibo in this case <clears throat> and simply add a few drops just a few drops it's, it doesn't have to be a, a flush uh, against the on the um, focusing helicoid so you have to have the whole the, the lens let's say from the sideway just like in this angle uh, so you only have uh, drops on the focusing helicoid not on the whole lens in here I mean the lens assembly so just add a little um, and that should be enough I mean there were maybe four or five drops and it will fool around and makes the, the lens I mean the focusing ring much more uh, most of the time well it could be you should add a little dab more with a uh, lighter fluid it depends but as at the moment it's much more uh, easy to to turn the way it is that the uh, lighter fluid is actually soften the I mean it will uh, soften the the old helicoid grease which has hardened, been hardened over years and if I can take out a little you probably can see it is what you say a bit uh, hardened so there's not merely much um, uh, grease in there to actually make it good for the helicoid it will be hardened over years depending on how it's stored um, let's say the other example because this one is uh, well I could go in from the back but uh, in this case well let's say it's stuck about uh, infinity so the problem with this lens here is I need to turn off the I mean <laughs> not turn off <laughs> but unscrew the front lens uh, group but if I cannot come into that I would uh, suggest to go in from the uh, back here and again unscrew the the uh, the mount here and this is quite uh, quite simple lens but it doesn't really matter the, the this the principle in this is to simply get into you so you have access to the actual helicoid or helicoids um, in some Nikko lenses it um, it could actually be the let's go back to the Nikko it could actually if it a uh, CRC uh, lens with a CRC focusing helicoids system it will turn the back here if you turn the focusing ring so this lens uh, with this own helicoid uh, could also be very stiff in that and in that way you need to simply go in from the back and uh, again you remember to set marks if the helicoid can turn on the back here if not 
well it's not a problem you only have to look at the the uh, other helicoid so but let's jump into this uh, old fellow it's not really yeah it i think it's an okay lens but <laughs> and again here you can see it's different made um i could if it was the problem i could add a little of uh, the isopropyl alcohol and have it good so it can uh, you can um, add some drops from the from the um, cotton bud here and simply press it in here somewhere oh sorry we we'll just do it again and simply press down the um, the cotton bud in here so it the drops will come into the threads in here and in that way it will there shouldn't be enough uh, shouldn't be much to do it it will just uh, help to it, it's already much more easy to turn and if it's not enough well you just do it again and um, Simply, it will it will suck into the the helicoid, and the more comes in, uh, well, the better. I mean, not too much, of course. It doesn't have to be flush uh, in in isopropyl alcohol. But now you can see it's much e more easy to to turn, and in that way you can. Um, you can loosen a stock focusing ring, no matter what it is uh, with the lens. But of course, if I prefer the SIPO, well, I could just uh, with the needle on. Well, if you do not have the, the, the serine needle, I can just take it off. And in that way, simply in this case, just have it on one side here and just add a few drops doesn't have to be much and then you can flip it around and in that way make it even looser i think maybe the lighter fluid is, is more it's more uh, effective to grease than the um, isopropyl alcohol but of course it depends so i think uh, you can see wow it's already a lot more loose um, but of course you have to think about one thing if it that lens or the or another lens uh, don't to don't use too much of the sipo or the isopropyl alcohol because the problem could you could you could actually get another problem if you add too much because the solvents here can go into the um, aperture blades and then you have another problem because then you have to <laughs> open the aperture uh, assembly and uh, of course we can easily see it here now i can turn wow it's really loose so in that way i can go <clears throat> Well, it sits a bit tight, but here we can actually see what's going on here in a more easy way. Um, we have we can see the thread here, focusing thread. And of course, if I add too much of lighter fluid or isopropyl alcohol, well, you see there is a gap here, down here, into the assembly. Uh, aperture assembly so if i add too much of fluid <laughs> well uh, the blades will get wet and then you need to open it up and clean the whole aperture assembly which is not well that's another task <laughs> um, but of course we when we are here now i could if i would i could just use a rubber tool to unscrew it but let's again say 
if I uh, want to use isopropyl alcohol, um, well, I could just add a lot here on the front and let it suck around the focusing uh, thread, I mean the helicoid thread, and simply add a, uh, a lot of uh, isopropyl alcohol or whatever solvent. So now it will be much more really. But this is just for coming into the lens. You need to to actually, if the focus uh, helicoids are so tight, so stuck, well, you have to disassemble it anyway and clean it and put on new uh, grease and then you are fine again. This is not a... Uh, temporary um, solution no no it's a, it it wouldn't be it's only for for unscrew whatever which uh, you cannot come in normally so uh, well i hope this uh, this can help somebody out there if uh, things are getting wrong or really stuck focusing ring so that was uh, actually all for me Hope you can use the info in this uh, short video. That's all. Bye-bye.